later. He just shoots everyone. Chilling new details about the gunman in the Santa Fe school shooting. Why investigators believe he may have learned from other attacks. Plus how police are looking for fresh ideas for stopping gun violence in our community. Your Suncoast News starts right now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, portions of two local counties, Manatee and DeSoto, under a flood warning tonight. As, and as ABC 7's Wendy Ross is here to explain, we're not expecting that to go away anytime soon. Isn't that right, Wendy? Boy, the rains just continue. We've got a little bit of a lull right now, which is kind of nice, but as you take a look well down to the south of us, we still have plenty of moisture, and all of this is still streaming on up towards the north. So we've been getting the rain, and right now it's right around the Fort Myers area, but it's going to start to move into Charlotte County and then eventually it's going to spread all the way up into our area too. So we're going to be getting the rains throughout the overnight time period, but the watches and the warnings that we were talking about, this is a flood warning that is right around the Alafia River in Hillsborough County. For DeSoto and Manatee County, it's along the Manatee River and also Horse Creek, which is near Arcadia. And so those are the areas of concern and right around those rivers, that's where we're expecting to see some flooding taking place. Our forecast for the rest of tonight, you can see the rains are going to be coming on through. Eventually they start to make their way on in. We'll see them here again tomorrow morning. If you're not getting the rain, you're getting plenty of clouds. There's pl still plenty of moisture out there. So we're just going to have to deal with this for a little bit longer. And we'll let you know how the rest of this week is shaping up in just a minute. Adam. All right, thank you very much, Wendy. Now to the ongoing investigation in Texas, where we are learning chilling new details about the gunman in the Santa Fe school shooting. Sources telling ABC News 17-year-old Demetrios Pagorchis studied other school massacres before his attack. Investigators pouring through his journals believe he carefully studied previous mass shootings, allegedly incorporating aspects of those massacres into his own plan. Investigators also keying on a trench coat worn during the massacre and evidence of explosives, both hallmarks from the Columbine killers. So many lives lost among the victims, Glenda Perkins and Cynthia Tisdale, two teachers killed in the attack, Chris Stone, Aaron McLeod, Kimberly Vaughn, Angelique Ramirez and Shanna Fisher. Some of the eight students killed in this tragedy. Tonight, Shanna Fisher's mother claiming Pagorchis made unwanted advances on her daughter and that she was a target. And not even a week later, he just shoots everyone. The suspect's uh, uh, family's attorney saying anything, any talk, excuse me, about what led to this shooting is pure speculation. This most recent school shooting provoking a response from a Suncoast lawmaker as well. Local state representative for District 72, Margaret Good, is pushing for a special session on education funding. Good writing to the Secretary of, of State of Florida today with that request. In her letter, she writes, quote, Lack of adequate resources threaten the education and safety of our public school children. Good saying on social media, quote, We can't expect schools to implement new security measures and provide the education our students deserve without adequate funding. The state approved over $150 million in school security funding this past session nearly three times the previous year. Tonight, the Sarasota Police Department announcing a plan to get a conversation going about how to stop gun violence in our community. On Thursday, May 24th, the department will hold a Stop the Gun Violence meeting that will take place at the Robert L. Taylor Community Complex on 34th Street in Sarasota and run from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. That meeting to discuss initiatives to eliminate gun violence and those attendings are asked only to bring their ideas. An organization which serves more than a thousand free meals to the homeless every week is at risk of losing their connection to the people they serve. ABC 7's Erica Jackson shares why Downtown Ministries says it's being kicked off its current property, a church in Bradenton. I need this, as a matter of fact, each and every day, not only me, but the rest of us. Larry Dowdle is without a home, but for a long time, the Central Christian Church parking lot has been a lifeline. That's where he gets clothing, medication, personal hygiene items, and a full breakfast every day. He also sees Bruce Bingle, who volunteers in between meals. Well, this has really been a blessing to me since I've, you know, got to my situation and 
you know, being homeless and everything. Just start their day, come in here, kind of get a chance to breathe a little bit, especially with the homeless not in housing. Christine Looms with Downtown Ministries feeds about 200 people seven days a week, but their morning tradition could soon stop since the church will soon be under new ownership. We as a community, we could have probably saved this, and we should have, really. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people that miss it. For three years, Downtown Ministries has been using the parking lot while the church allows them to store its stock inside the building. Loom says the new owners don't want any groups using that parking lot. If we end up on the street somewhere, obviously it makes things a little more difficult because you're trailering in everything. Uh, it's not as easy. And of course, with Florida weather, not as easy either. Our efforts to contact the previous owners were unsuccessful through phone and email and we were unable to reach the new owners to ask if their new policy would be permanent. Regardless, Looms is now looking for a vacant property, even if it's temporary, so the switch doesn't create more problems for the working poor and homeless community they serve. Their lives are chaotic enough without adding more to it. Reporting in Bradenton, Erica Jackson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Erica. A follow up now on the search for a fugitive in our area. A five month search for Tyreek Bell wanted in the death of a Northport teen is finally over. Bell is now in the custody of law enforcement after Sarasota police tracked him down Friday night on Cumberland Road in Venice. Bell is charged with aggravated assault, robbery and the murder of 19 year old Trent Bartle Thomas. Back in January, police say Bell and another assailant barged into a Northport home demanding money. Thomas tried to stop the suspects wrestling with one man when he was shot from behind and killed. Bell's arrest comes just days after the U.S. Marshals Service announced a $1,000 reward for information leading to his capture. President Donald Trump had a busy Sunday on Twitter demanding an investigation into whether an informant working for the FBI or the Department of Justice infiltrated his campaign. ABC's Richard Cantu gives us a look at the reports that seem to point to an informant. President Trump wants answers following reports the FBI had an informant approach his campaign. Tweeting, I hereby demand and will do so officially tomorrow that the Department of Justice look into whether or not the FBI slash DOJ infiltrated or surveilled the Trump campaign for political purposes. The president insisting he has the right to intervene. You look at the corruption at the top of the FBI, it's a disgrace. And our Justice Department, which I try and stay away from, but at some point I won't. The issue published reports that during the 2016 campaign, the FBI sent a retired American professor to talk with several Trump advisors after those advisors had been flagged for suspicious contact with Russians. The FBI director, citing national security concerns, has not revealed any further details. The day that we can't protect human sources is the day the American people start becoming less safe. The Justice Department saying it will investigate and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein vowing to take appropriate action if anyone did surveil or infiltrate the Trump campaign. There is also a published report about a meeting at Trump Tower three months before the election, during which Donald Trump Jr. met with an Israeli social media entrepreneur, a representative of two Arab princes and the founder of private security firm Blackwater to discuss mounting a social media campaign to help elect Trump. A lawyer for Donald Trump Jr. saying he was not interested and that was the end of it. The president tweeting, the witch hunt has given up on Russia and is looking at the rest of the world. Richard Cantu, ABC News, New York. Next, we go to more major developments in the Hawaii volcano eruptions. Take a look at this new photo, the first lava flow reaching the Pacific, throwing a toxic blend of lava haze into the sky. It shows a white plume as that lava is entering the ocean, the red hot torrent cutting across a highway, forcing new evacuations after destroying four more homes over the weekend. Officials also confirming the first injury, a homeowner standing on his balcony struck by a flying molten rock, that rock shattering his leg. He is now recovering in a hospital and tonight geologists say they still expect more fissures to open the flow of lava into the ocean to expand and perhaps more eruptions from the summit of Kilauea. Well, looking for something a little different, thousands came out to the Bradenton Area Convention Center today. The crowd hoping to snag one of the 5,000 rare and exotic fruit trees. 
Now in its 30th year, the sale featuring favorites like mango, lychee, banana, and avocado. You get something to eat. I used to have a yard with grass. Now I have a food forest. All the mangoes and, and every tropical fruit you can think of I got going in my yard. The funds from today's sale will go in part to demonstration gardens around the Sun Coast where people can learn about growing tropical fruit right here in our area. And here at ABC 7, we'd like to offer up our congratulations to all of our local graduating seniors, several schools holding their graduation ceremonies this weekend, despite some not so cooperative weather. Take a look as Sarasota High School seniors took to the stage in front of all of their family and friends on Friday, looking pretty chic in those black and white caps and gowns. And Saturday night, Riverview High School seniors getting their diplomas as well, despite a bit of a rain delay. As you can see, they did eventually make it out there to the football field. They got the diplomas, and it's on to the next chapter. Congratulations to all of you. Well, coming up here on ABC 7, what you can expect to pay the next time you fill up for gas. Here's a hint. It's more than you'd like. Plus, the changes Coffee Empire Starbucks will be making to its bathroom policy. I am the resident district manager on the FAU campus for Chartwell. Whenever I see Haley, I do not see a person with a disability. I see a person with extraordinary abilities. Haley is always smiling. She's always on time. She gives fantastic customer service and is always focused on any job that she's given. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. My credit score was not that great. I didn't understand what went into my credit score. It was overwhelming. Do you want to attain better credit health but don't know where to start? Credit Sesame can help by providing you a free credit score. I love the app. It's so easy to use. It's like having a, your own financial coach. Credit Sesame broke my credit score down into things that I understood and it made me think, I can do this. And the awesome thing about Credit Sesame, it's free. It's 100% free. You don't need to go it alone. Get started today at CreditSesame.com. According to a new survey by U.S. News & World Report, three of Alabama's top four hotels and resorts are part of the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail Resort Collection. The Grand Hotel Marriott Resort in Point Clear, the Battle House Renaissance Mobile Hotel & Spa, and the Renaissance Birmingham Ross Bridge Golf Resort & Spa. Hey, we didn't invent Southern hospitality, we just offer more of it. Visit rtjgolf.com resorts to find out more. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Wendy Ross joins us once again with a first alert weather update. And Wendy, it didn't feel like that long ago that we couldn't get a bad day on a weekend. And now we just can't seem oh, to get a dry one. What happened? After the next, after the next. And so what we're looking at right now is this broad area of low pressure still affecting us, still bringing us all the wet weather. And, and it even has prompted some flood warnings to go into effect. So this is around the areas of Horse Creek, which is near Arcadia and DeSoto County, the Manatee River, and that's, of course, in Manatee County. And so you can see 
see how long those warnings are going to be in effect. And then Alafaya River, which is up in Hillsborough County, also has a flood warning in effect until Tuesday at 12 o'clock. So this is all a result of all the heavy rains that we've experienced over the past 24 hour period. And just take a look at how much has fallen. And it's been in pockets. It hasn't all been in one spot, but you can see we've had five to six inches of rainfall right here over the center. And then you just move a little bit farther to the south and east over portions of Charlotte County. You're seeing anywhere from four to four point two inches of rainfall. You go a little farther to the north and maybe over to the east and we're looking at three to four inches of rain. So pick your place. You know where you live and you can see how much rain has fallen. And it's just been incredible the amounts of rain we've been getting. As far as the overnight time period is concerned, we're going to see those rain chances go down to about a 10 to 20 percent chance throughout the overnight time period into the early morning hours. And then during the early morning, we're going to see those rain back in our forecast again, but once again about a 20% chance of rain. There's still plenty of moisture out there. And so as we take a look at this radar, you can see all of the showers still coming on in from the south, moving on up, tracking towards the north. And so we've been getting the rains coming on through, but we're finally getting a little bit of a break. Not everybody is getting it. Parts of Charlotte County have been getting the showers coming on in now for about the past 35 to 40 minutes. And we are going to see this rain lifting on up towards the north. The rest of us, though, getting some scattered rains, and that's what we're going to see are periods of rain, isolated showers. That's what's going to be taking place for the rest of tonight. So just keep that in mind. We're not out of it yet. In fact, close up looks is just showing you where these areas of flooding are going to be taking place. And so those flood warnings are in effect all the way through Tuesday for our area. As far as future radar is concerned, during the overnight time period, a lot of areas reporting no rain, and then we get these showers that are going to be coming on through. And keep again, uh, keep in mind again that this is going to be isolated in and out types of showers, so they'll be coming in periods and in waves across the area, but they're going to continue throughout the day tomorrow. So we're going to see another round of rain coming on through with a good 50 to 60 percent chance of showers in our forecast. Our future cast is showing that for the overnight time period we get most of this wet weather moving on up towards the north and most of these showers you can see still plenty of areas of of wet weather down to the south that all is moving towards the north and then next weekend Memorial weekend We've got the possibility of a low pressure system developing and it is going to also be moving up towards the north. Whether it goes across the southern part of the state and heads towards the Carolinas or stays here in the eastern Gulf of Mexico is unknown right now. However, it is going to not make much of a difference because it means more moisture in the forecast for next weekend. So today we got up to a high of 81 degrees after an overnight low of 70 degrees and we're going to keep our temperatures in in the 80s. It's going to start to warm up a little bit more, but for tomorrow we're expecting to see temperatures still in the low 80s for daytime highs with a 60% chance of rain. As the week wears on, we keep those rain chances still in the forecast. On Friday, that developing low is going to stay, start to make more of an impact for us on Saturday with a 70% chance of rain, and that is going to be our first alert day. Adam? Thank you, Wendy. Attention drivers, you might want to fill up those gas tanks sooner rather than later. The price of gas is going up. The average price of regular grade gasoline in the U.S. jumped by 10 cents a gallon over the past two weeks, bringing the national average to three dollars. The reason higher crude oil costs and the phasing in of summer grade gasoline, which is used to prevent smog. Here in Sarasota, we haven't reached an average of $3 just yet. According to the Gas Buddy app, the average price of regular grade gasoline per gallon in Sarasota is $2.77, and the lowest price of gas per gallon is $2.67. The next time you stop in to use a bathroom at Starbucks, you won't have to worry about purchasing something first. The company is changing its bathroom policy after an incident last month sparked protests over racial bias. Two black men asked to use the bathroom at a Philadelphia Starbucks and were told it was only for paying customers. When they sat down in the store without ordering anything, the manager called police and the men were arrested for trespassing. No charges were filed. The two men eventually reached a settlement with the company. We'll stick around. We got sports coming up after a quick break. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? 
With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through TrueStage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. TrueStage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity. And the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. Performing on stage takes mental and physical preparation. But one thing I never thought to prepare for was cervical cancer. 91% of cervical cancers are caused by the human papillomavirus, or HPV. The good news is there are vaccines that can protect you or your children from cancer. I survived my cancer, but you can stop cancer before it starts. Talk to your doctor and go to thinkaboutthelink.org to learn more. A promise was made, a promise that hit the beaches of Normandy, a vow that captured Iwo Jima, a contract that weathered Tet, a pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq, an IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise, so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earned. For help, visit DAV.org. Want the latest weather and traffic conditions wherever you go? Introducing ABC 7's revolutionary new First Alert weather app. With our state-of-the-art new weather app, you get up-to-the-minute weather alerts, interactive radar maps, current conditions, 10-day forecasts, real-time traffic maps, and weather video from ABC 7, all at your fingertips. And it's free. Just search Suncoast WX in the App Store and download onto all your devices today. Sponsored by Mr. Sparky. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking a part-time media controller to manage various stages of video on-air content playout. General computer skills are an absolute must. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. Now, sports. Not once this season have the Tampa Bay Rays had a winning record, but they had their first shot at one earlier today in Los Angeles. The Rays taking on two-way phenom Shohei Otani, looking for his fourth career win, and the rookie was dealing today. Nine strikeouts over seven and two-thirds innings. The Rays needing eight innings to manufacture just their second run off Otani. Denard Span grounding out up the middle. Johnny Field scoring from third. The Rays can't get the sweep on Otani's longest outing of the year. They'll come back home to face the Red Sox after a day off. Tampa Bay Lightning captain Steven Stamkos has been electric this postseason with a team leading seven goals. He's helped the Bolts within a, get within a win of the Stanley Cup Finals. It's been a tough road for Stammer, though, since Tampa Bay's last championship series in 2015. He's battled injuries, and in his 10th season, he says he doesn't want to waste the team's recent hot streak. You just never know when this opportunity is going to come again. So you, you try to take advantage of that. You look at this, the group that we've put together this year. It, it feels like a special group. So you you just want to take advantage of it. You never know um, in this game. The team jumped on a plane to Washington, D.C. today to get ready for their six uh, for game six tomorrow at 8 p.m. A win would put Tampa Bay in the Stanley Cup Finals. Stamkos is calling it the team's toughest game yet. 
Well, just like the New Orleans Saints after Hurricane Katrina or the Houston Astros after Hurricane Harvey, the Vegas Golden Knights have a chance to win a championship when their city needs it most. Tonight, seven months after a gunman killed 58 victims during a concert on the Strip, the Golden Knights clinched their first Stanley Cup final appearance in their first ever season. I think as a team, if we, you know, we can uh, heal, heal anybody, you know, but if we could um, just change their mind a bit, you know, throughout those first few weeks and throughout the season and um, get them to be proud of the team, cheering for uh, something, you know, I think and, um, I'm happy that we were able to um, provide a little bit of that, you know, to, to Vegas. The last expansion team to get to the Stanley Cup, the 1968 St. Louis Blues, one of six expansion teams that season. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go out there in the rain. Going to get wet. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the rain. Oh, look at the rain. Okay, quick. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Yes. So much fun. Mwah. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. At Boys and Girls Clubs, it's not just about trying new things. Tanya, come here. Learning the right steps. Two, three, four. Or making contact. It's not just about exploring the future. It's about helping them build it. It's about making the connection. It's about proving every kid and teen who enters our doors has what it takes. Great futures start here. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. Northland Outdoors is about so much more than the biggest fish or the hottest hunting spots. All across the Northland, there are amazing people with incredible stories to tell. We're going to find those stories and share them with everyone. Join us each and every week as we explore the Northland and experience some of the most exciting outdoor adventures in the country right here in our own backyard. This is Northland Outdoors. My name is Julius. I have cerebral palsy. I work for Farmer Jaffe Weising Law Firm. I do a lot of data entry and scanning documents. I want to increase my working experience to make the company much better. At the end of the day, it's good to think of the day's work and to think about what I have accomplished. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Deadpool 2 was at the top of the box office this weekend, taking the number one spot with an impressive haul of $125 million. That was enough to knock Avengers Infinity War out of that top spot. The latest from the Marvel Universe still took in a respectable amount, however, nearly $29 million, bringing the total haul to $1.8 billion. 
The number three spot was claimed by Paramount's Book Club with $12.5 million in its debut weekend. Wasn't this the perfect weekend to go wa watch a movie? It's a very good weekend I mean, to see a movie. It was the perfect weekend to do that. To be yeah. indoors, read a good book, watch a movie. Except the run from the watch car the to the theater. the Royal Wedding. Theater. Oh my gosh, it was the perfect for that. It was perfect for that. And we're going to see another day. Tomorrow, we're going to get some rain showers coming on through in the morning hours. John Scosley will be here tomorrow morning to let you know about your morning commute. But we can expect to see some periods of rain coming on through waves of it. That's what we're going to be getting there once again. Yeah. Rain, but still in the 80s throughout yes. the week. Yes. So the warmth going nowhere.